Wine number five, the Whiskey to Wine Volume 19. Uh, if a couple of years ago when you uh, told me, uh, or if you would have told me that we'd be releasing Volume 19 of the Whiskey to Wine, we released the first one, I probably would have told you to be quiet, but uh, <laughs> maybe in some more colorful language than that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this one uh, has been our most popular Cellar Series wine since we, uh, we started it. And so we, uh, we just continue bringing them to you. Um, this is number 19. Um, you've got 17 in uh, your last allotment, and uh, we actually have 18 in the tasting room right now. So if you come for the party, you'll be able to try 18 and 19 uh, next to each other, uh, which is pretty fun. Um, but this one uh, is the same blend uh, as it has been. It is uh, a third, a third, and a third of Chamberson, Cabernet, Sir Cabernet Sauvignon, and then Petit Syrah. Uh, this one aged in uh, three different whiskey barrels for 10 months. So this was aged in uh, Jim Beam, Wild Turkey and Stranahan barrels. Um, so you will get the uh, the whiskey flavors out of it. Um, and uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's been a good thing. So we just keep on bringing you more of a good thing here. Oh yeah, tried and true is the way to go sometimes. <laughs> um, on the nose, this wine definitely comes through with the whiskey. I wonder if there is a little bit more of a rye characteristic in one of these barrels, because and I love rye, but it definitely has that rye spice to it. Any of those big whiskey lovers um, may agree with me on that, may not, but that's what I'm going with uh, right now. And then it also, you remember those little uh, strawberry candies that just look like the strawberry on the outside? Yeah, are those called strawberry bon? I always call them strawberry bonbons, but I don't know if that's what actually what they. I have are. no idea. I love those things. Oh yeah, so that's, that's what it smells and tastes like. Okay, I'm a fan. Yeah, <laughs> like, it, like it actually, it smells delicious and it's not so like sweet and it's not so savory. This is definitely the just right mix between the two. And I think that if there was more of a rye in the whiskey blend, I think that would help. Yeah, I, think I sure. agree with you. Yeah, um, campfires and cigars. That's the pairing, campfire and cigars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it definitely like, um, those are really easy pairings in general, but I think even more so if you've got um, a little tumbler of this up your campfire site. Okay. Yeah. I think a steak also would uh, go just fine with this. Uh, oh yeah. But yeah. So the uh, whiskey, to whiskey to Wine Volume 19, it's a mouthful. I've uh, been drinking a little bit, but uh, <laughs> we, uh, we hope you enjoyed as much as the first 18. Cheers. Cheers.